Every year, thousands of people are killed in drunk driving crashes across the country. But a small part of the federal infrastructure bill that President Biden signed earlier today could change that. A provision of the bill says car companies must include drunk driving prevention measures in every model over the next five years. Some technology already exists, like a built-in breathalyzer for people convicted of impaired driving. But that's not believed to be practical on a larger scale. Besides preventing drunk driving, the bill also mandates that rear seat reminders be installed in new cars to prevent child hot car deaths. And police departments across Indiana are sharing in millions of dollars in federal grants. That money is intended to help curb reckless driving, which has led to an increase in fatal crashes during the pandemic. Indiana State Police is getting $1 million, and nearly 200 other police departments will divvy up the remaining $4 million. The Indianapolis Star reports that police will use the money to conduct zero tolerance over time. Patrols and sobriety checkpoints. The first enforcement period will take place around the Thanksgiving holiday.